I think abortion should be unrestrictive. And I think when somebody finds out in pregnancy, when or how far along that they are when someone finds out, they should be able to get an abortion if they want to. And for some people, that is full term. If I can't get abortion training here, if I can't perform abortions in my career, I will not stay in Wisconsin. And a lot of my colleagues who are on the same track agree. There's a correlation between child sacrifice in the Old Testament and modern day abortion. The Bible contains the heartbreaking tale of child sacrifice practiced in the name of Molech, a god of the Ammonites. Molech worship was practiced by the Ammonites and Canaanites, who revered Molech as a protecting father figure. Images of Molech were made of bronze, and their outstretched arms were heated and red hot. Living children were then placed into the idol's hands and died there, or were rolled into a fire pit below. God gave the people of Israel a dire warning concerning child sacrifice and Molech worship as we read in Leviticus 20 verses 1 and 2. There is good news for anyone who has had an abortion, and that is that God offers forgiveness to anyone who confesses their sins as we read in 1 John 1 9. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness.